ultrasound study of, this is the ultrasound study of the female pelvis a 36 years presented with the complaint of uh, pelvic pain constant for the last two years uh, no history no clinical examination notes no lab investigation is provided this is the urinary bladder this black area this is the urinary bladder in transfer section now i am going to rotate the probe 90 degrees so that the urinary bladder will become in this shape take this shape this is the uterus of the female in longitudinal section it measures uh, 8.2 centimeters into 3.9 centimeters and is with a normal them has normal dimensions this is the outer covering this is the fundus this is the posterior segment, this is the anterior segment or myometrium and centrally this area is the endometrial canal which is central and clear, measures 7.6 millimeters so she is an early proliferative phase बेटा यही तो देखना टांगे सिंचे करो, टांगे नहीं चेक करो। नहीं मेरे नाम। This is the longitudinal view. This is the longitudinal view. Here you can see this is the uterus. This central echogenic line is the endometrial canal. So the uterus is normal. there is no pathology related to the kidney however now when I move the probe towards the right pelvic region I see a cystic area this, remember this is a uterus here I am going uh, uh, maneuvering the probe anteriorly and laterally This is the uterus, this is the urinary bladder, this is the endometrial canal central and when I, now I am maneuvering the probe anterior laterally, I come to see a cystic area with internal echogenic areas, okay, now this is the urinary bladder. This is the urinary bladder. This is the cyst. This is the cyst. And within the cyst, you see these echogenic areas. These echogenic areas. These one. They are within the cyst that measures approximately seven centimeter into five centimeter. So this is a cyst measuring 7.0 into 5 centimeters with internal echogenic areas. They are solid areas because and few of them are giving posterior shadow. This is the posterior shadow, my posterior shadow. They are coarse, ecogenic and dense 
and uh, it the ecogenic areas may in total collectively taken approximately 3.7 cm into 2.2 cm 3.3 cm into 3.7 cm into 2.2 cm again this is the fundus of the uterus fundal region this is the endometrial canal the urinary bladder is distended or over distended because ideally it should be seen at the level of a uh, uterus should be seen or the urinary bladder should be full up to the level of the uterine fundus here if the urinary bladder is exceeding now maneuvering the probe anteriorly and laterally in the right adnexa region this is the cystic area that i am seeing and now if you give a little consideration then this is a cyst okay and this is the ecogenic areas these are the ecogenic areas within it and see the posterior shadowing this is the posterior shadow light and dirty they are not the shadow is not sharp you can see this is the shadow which is not sharp it is dirty type of shadow and uh, here we see this is the urinary bladder and this is the longitudinal section in which i am scanning the ecogenic areas in total combined together may uh, approximately 3.9 into 2.2 cm and another thing to see is that they it seems to be hanging from the anterior wall the anterior wall of the cystic mass this is the anterior wall this is the posterior wall so the clearly defined walls here the, you can't see the wall because of this shadow from the ecogenic area you are seeing within this is so this is one of the drawbacks of the posterior shadowing that uh, you cannot see the structure from where these shadows are passing however the, this is the area of capsule renal uh, sorry the cystic outer covering so the uh, outer covering is thin this is a cyst in the right adnexa region with solid material in it cyst right adnexa region with irregularly outlying dense ecogenic area within its anterior wall and giving posterior shadowing and the finding is consistent with a dermoid cyst so the dermoid cyst will give the appearance as you are seeing in this case this is a typical case of a dermoid cyst and you see the ecogenic areas remain hanging with the anterior wall they are they do not move and they do not settle down with the posterior wall rather they are seen with the anterior wall this is the area see the cyst i have magnified it dermoid cysts have many shapes and forms 
this is one of them that you may come across. So the uterus in longitudinal section and in the right adenexa yeah, a cystic mass with ecogenic areas attached to its anterior surface, ecogenic areas giving dirty posterior shadow and there are certain some internal echoes as well yeah, in this scanning angle you will see that this cyst contains ecogenic material within it. These are the ecogenic areas seen within it, which are internal echoes. This is our area of study. So you see um, in, at the lateral margin there are few septas, actually these are fine septa, these are septa, this is a complete septa. The so fine septas are seen within the cystic area that we are studying. And when I give, now I, I am giving a sweep to the probe these areas do not change their location. They remain the same. Now you will see one another ecogenic area which is with the posterior wall of the rather it is a yeah here. Now this ecogenic area is a new discovery which is within the cyst and which is giving posterior shadowing. You see these are, this is the posterior shadow, this is the ecogenic area, this is the cyst. So this is it's somewhere in the middle of the cyst, separated from the other ecogenic area that are hanging with the interior wall. So there are multiple ecogenic areas seen within the cyst. One is seen in the dependent region and the rest, you see they are here. And when I move the probe 90 degrees, these ecogenic areas did not change their shape. Neither the cyst changed their shape. So this is a typical picture of a dermoid cyst.